Sports Show is a one out of three podcast on the way to the mic from Houston, Texas, from Texas, weighing a combined weight of 400 and whatever pounds, the man known as Chatter 2, Mr. Bold and Tall, Chadrick Forbes, and his partner, the crazy Negro with Afro, Jeremy Brown, known as Fusion Ha! I know y'all heard that baller intro by your boy Jay Brown over here. <laughs> and, bro, I got to say it. I got to say it. What you got, dog? Finally, the Chad and Jeremy have come back to podcast. <sighs> oh, and oh, we are not alone today. We are not alone. We have a very special guest in the building. A long time. I mean, long, 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 long time friend of mine. And Chad. Mr. Adam Powell. What up, man? What's going on? Hello, hello. What's up, bro, man? Welcome to the cast. Welcome to Fusion High, man. Hey, man. Like like you said in the intro, we knocking out three tonight. Yeah, oh, God, yeah. Uh, that, that was my idea because, uh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> we, uh, we behind again. Um, my fault. I've been lazy. I'm not going to lie. I've been lazy. So, I came up with the idea with um, shorten it a little bit, make it like, like well, one's more content, two, ah, uh, fuck. I can't think. Uh, <laughs> give, give some more stuff to the people and, 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 and you know. Yeah. You know well, we've gone for so long, you know. We do, you know, a couple, of, you know, a couple at a time. You know, everybody gets their fix. Everybody's happy. Okay. And so, like, today on our schedule, the first, our very first topic is, is something we all love, which is wrestling. Wrestling. Um... <sighs> I actually started watching WWE this week, actually, again. I, I think I... Uh, oh, the band has been lifted? Yeah, you damn right it was. <laughs> man, I got tired. Dude! Oh, my God, the monotony of the just insanity. Meanwhile, you got, like, a t-shirt company known as AEW beating their ass. and Yeah. They didn't even have much at the time, and then, like, now they have, like, I think three pay-per-views now. How they... It's so crazy. Like, they went from, like you said, nothing to just... Yeah. Ah, we're just going to do a pay-per-view like every time WWE does one. I'm like, ah, let's just do it. Let's just do it. And they've all been really good. i got to watch this new one. I haven't seen it yet, but the other ones I've seen have been... Free 99. Yeah, yeah free 99, and they've been pretty good. Even though it was a bit of a chore to get through that uh that pre-show, that last one we watched. Oh, you talking about... Uh, the pool toy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he grabbed him with the pool toy. Yo, he, no, he he put his neck yeah, in the way yeah. he was yanked by the damn pool toy. He's like Lobo Pete, man. Like, <laughs> come here, I got you. Back for mercy. Oh, my God. Cool news. That, uh, that was... Uh, not, no, that's when this passed with Fight for the Fall, and this was like... Fire. Uh, fire. Uh, yeah. Fire fight. Yeah. Fire fight. one. Yeah, yeah, they're making fun of uh, the fire and fest. Yeah, which that was, that part was kind of hilarious. Yeah, Cause you know them documentaries were great. They did. I see they did their homework. They did. They, they did. got Jr. Though. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, man. He's an advisor slash uh, commentator and all kinds of stuff. But I mean, when you get a guy who's in a game for forty plus years in a yeah. game, 
I would. And that's somebody. Yeah, Jr. can always be on my team, bro. Like Jr. is the man. Good. Great barbecue sauce, by the way. Oh like, yeah. yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. Tell Christina, thank you again. Yeah. Oh yeah. If, no if you don't, I will. That barbecue <laughs> sauce was the shit. <laughs> but um, keep the ball rolling though. Like yes, yeah, so I'm back on it because like I got totally excited when I heard though that Paul Heyman and uh, Eric Bischoff gonna be like like the heads of creative or something like that. Not like they gonna. Uh, Oversee the stuff, but still, Vince is gonna have the last say. Everything. Of course, of course. Uh, then come find out this week. Now, just today, what the, the 18th? No, today's the 19th of uh, Jan- July. I'm about to say January. Yeah. And uh, Bishop actually just started the job. <laughs> he started the job on Wednesday, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. So, that's all. Let's we'll see how that works out. Did you ever think that this would happen with Bishop and Like Hayden? 20 years ago, if you asked me that question, yeah. like, hey, you know, Bishop gonna work for WWE and Paul Heyman? No. Yeah. Nobody asked. I would have never. Like I would have never thought in a million years. But it's 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 like they went back into the world. Like man, this isn't working what we got now. Right. But some time ago, this worked. We had these two guys, and I, you know, bitch, I guess kind of a bad I don't know why, because I think he's he fucked he's, up TNA, yeah. yeah I mean, and WCW. TNA. I mean, he didn't really have to. TNA was TNA was never really like it was a decent. Product. Yeah, it was it was decent, Before. but it was always teetering on the edge of. Like, it could be really bad or it could be really good, but for the most part, it was really good a, a long time ago. Yeah, prior to, like, the yeah. WWE rejects and then Hulk Hogan. Yeah, that guy. And, uh, <laughs> and then Bischoff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But he keep Robin in there. He was cool. But, yeah. yeah and Jeff Hardy. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Yeah. Kurt Angle. Kurt, yeah, Kurt, oh, yo, yeah. Kurt Angle made that happen, oh, too. Man. Yeah, when, when they got him, too, in TNA, that was pretty dope. Yeah, even, yeah when, uh, what, what were they called? The, uh... The, the main event mafia? Uh, I, yeah, I, I stopped watching it. Yeah. I think I deployed to Afghanistan. Yeah. <laughs> I remember back in 2011, January, that's when Matt, then Matt Hardy came in. Yeah, oh, yeah. Nah, he, was a little, yeah. he was a little chunky there. That was before that, yeah, I know. though. Man. And I remember he came in, I'm like, damn, he gained some weight. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like every yeah. time he's gone for a while, he come back and he's like, like, hey, girls, I've been eating, but I'm ready. I'm back. He does then something. he just, okay, he's, still, he's still a beast. Yeah. But yeah, uh, so that's what brought me back a lot. That's what brought me back. I was like, all right, Paul, I'm a Paul Heyman guy. So yeah, we watch it because I, I heard some stuff before that he uh, had a little stroke. I think the week before last, and actually raised ratings up a little bit because that's the thing they've been talking about. I don't know if y'all have been uh, catching on to that uh, lately. Raw, both Raw and SmackDown have been dwindling in ratings. Yeah, but yeah. I, I see they're doing slightly edgy stuff. Kind of get the cool yeah. kids back to TV. That's what I read that they were going to try to be like more like the PG, like TV 14. I guess yeah. where that's where they're going now, which I think that's where they should have like kind of been at right yeah. now at this point. Yeah. But they're, they're starting to go back into that. I mean, you know, I think it'll be good. Like, I don't think it's ever going to be attitude era crazy again, it especially can't. in the climate of the like. Climate of the world we're in now. That's that, not, that, that's and, not and, happening. And, but I mean, that's okay. Investors too. Yeah, and, and that's okay. It ain't got to be like that. It just needs to be better. It, oh yeah. It's just I shouldn't be able to just walk in and just predict exactly what's going to happen. And I shouldn't have to watch three hours of TV to see like forty minutes of wrestling. Like that's kind of crazy. Not even that long. Yeah, yeah. I'm being generous. Oh, kind <laughs> Chad. I'm, I'm being generous. Kind Chad. What do you miss? I, I know you haven't watched uh, wrestling like hardcore like Chad or myself, especially me. I'm a, I'm a big wrestling head because like I like the sport. But Adam, what, what what you like about wrestling when you the the good days that you remember about wrestling? In the good days, mine was like early two thousands is when I was a little bit into it real hard. Yeah, and mainly like the really good classic tag teams. I love the good old tag teams, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh man, Hardy yeah. Boys. Gangrilla Eds and well, the Brood. Oh, yo, hey, AVA. Oh, yeah. man. Oh, yeah, Eddie and uh, Chavo. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, Chavo. Yeah, oh, yeah. Love those. Yeah, that was great. They they trying to bring that back, though. Oh, uh, damn. And hell, even though. Dudley Boys. Dudley Boys. Oh, yeah. AVA. Yeah. I mean, oh, AEW doing the same thing, too. So yeah. I think WWE kind of like, hmm, but we already got them. Yeah. Let's utilize them now. Hmm. So, yeah, oh, yeah, you talking about the heyday. So you talking about Ruthless Aggression era. If you're talking about early 2000s, that was a really yeah. progression area. Like, so I would say 2002 on up to like probably 2008, eight, nine, some yeah. shit like that. That was that was a good years. They squandered a lot of wrestling. I was just watching the video about that. They squandered a lot of good talent. But, you know, they later on. I mean, thanks to OVW, which is their developmental at the time. Yeah. And that's when you got John Cena, Chilton Benjamin, 
uh, Batista, <laughs> Love Fight, then that's what they call him. Uh, Rock Lesnar and Shelton Benjamin. That that's the best class they ever produced. Yeah. And then like you don't see a punk came from that class. Uh, a lot of guys actually came from there. Uh, Cody Rhodes and like look at him now. So right, man. Cody Rhodes, I would have never expected like this. This is yo. It's, it's it's still. I still can't believe. Like every time I watch it, I'm like, dude, you created this whole entire product. And I was going back watching some of the older wrestling. You know, watching with the kids and stuff. Oh yeah. And I was watching when he was Stardust, and I'm watching him like yes, <laughs> I'm watching him. And Goldust, like, given this gimmick, and I'm sure they probably didn't want to do it in the beginning, but they made that money. They made it gold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> gold. <laughs> I made it funny. But, yeah, they, like... <laughs> <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry. I couldn't help myself. And we're laughing, too. I couldn't help myself. But, yeah, like, they took that gimmick, and they just... I'm like, man, if this guy can do that, like, when he leaves... Cause I remember when, yeah. they, when he was leaving, like... I feel like WWE didn't even care. Like it was like, oh, no, nah, like, they let him go. I'm like, oh, well, you want your money? Bye. Oh, and, and your wife too. Wife, yo, yeah, y'all can go. Take you and your and they went, wife can go. Yep, they went and took over the world. Yeah, that's literally what they did. They yeah. went and took over the world. They met some guys in Japan, Young Bucks. They seen Kenny Omega, who was like their biggest star at the time over there in New Japan. Yeah, and then. Uh, Hell, what what kind of also started? You know, this this is this is the ingredients of AEW. Y'all want to hear it? What's his ingredients? And Dave Meltzer got something to do with it too. All right, now with WWE. I see WWE. Put that in there. New Japan Wrestling. Put that in there. Yep. Dave Meltzer talking that high dookie, meaning, well, he's not like his dad, but he can't book a show, and so the all. Was it the no, all eyes and shit? So the all in show last yeah. year in Chicago, which I seen, you know, it was pretty yeah. good. Was a hold my beer moment. Oh yeah, yeah. Dave. Hey, Adam, hold my beer. Man, I'm about to fucking show this bitch ass. Man, he did a great thing. I mean, and then you know it was a joint effort with New Japan, uh, Ring of Honor, and then yeah. and, uh, damn, who else? A Cracker Barrel paid for it too. <laughs> uh, who else? Which I'm still never hated, by the way. Either. Continue. Black. Black. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Never we'll, we'll talk outside of this. <laughs> <laughs> it's good food. It's good food. Good, you know, southern cooking. But yeah, all that. And that's what made AEW, man. I mean, the Young Bucks, yeah. Cody. And then, you know, somebody met this billionaire, you know, who's a big time, oh my God, wrestling. You think I'm something about, you know, a big fan of wrestling? Motherfucking Tony Khan is. Yeah, I see. Yeah, he, he made. And I, I've seen several in, interviews like with him. Well, I still haven't watched that, uh, or listened to. I should say the uh, Stone Cold podcast because he like, got more into it with Stone Cold. But like you know, he always kept saying that he uh, had a business plan for his dad, uh, Shad Khan. Dude, that dude got a ball of mustache. But anyway, <laughs> his father Shad Khan, and he uh, showed him the business model. Dad liked it. Fuck it, here. And here we are today. We're watching free pay per views for right now, and the next big thing is coming up next month. I think the end of next month, which yeah. is all uh, all all out. Yeah. Guess who's gonna be at Starcade? Just the net, just announced that yesterday. Who is that? You you don't know? Your boy CM Punk. See, I just read that, but I was like, I don't believe it. I don't. I, it's I been wanna all believe, over. Wrestling I want to believe it. Like I want since on time. Why not make good money? It, it, uh, no, well, buy you know, AJ and then go make your money. Yeah. You ain't got to travel too far. You I just, just downtown. Like I want it to be true so bad that mm. I'm not even gonna start a not AEW. Yeah, it's I know. Wrestling I know. Convention. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay. It's, I want it to be true so bad, but I just <laughs> you, I man. Every time I read something about him, he's just like, man, I'm done with like you. Leave me alone. I'm trying to. I'm trying to write Marvel comics. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm trying to help, help AJ write her next book. Man, I'll be trying to chill. Leave us, leave us be. She crazy, crazy. Yeah, you, that, yo, I did. I, yo, she crazy. Hey, her book that. is super. Oh, you good. got it? Yeah, where it's good. Yeah, it's, crazy is my superpower. Yeah, that yeah, book was. Book. That book is super good. Yeah, she's. I learned. I, I seen that interview. She yeah. just recently had with that lady. Yeah, yeah, bro. I mean, like her. Like I met girls like that in high school. It was like. She, not, not no offense to any punk if you ever hear this which I doubt it but I was like yo like um, the way she moved and she was kind of you know, and I was like you really are crazy play, somehow play, play her character a little like, too good huh? yo no like that interview yeah. she had on that show recently I was like yo you actually kind of out there you cute but you scared me mm, she scared me I, mean, I met girls like that in high school 
Yeah, I was man. cool with the opening yeah. John Day. I was like, yo, okay, you cut yourself. I'm going to go ahead and go this way. <laughs> <Still good. laughs> but yeah, man, she's, man, she's her, cool, she's her story, like, like everything she went through, like, growing up and stuff, like, it was. Really? Yeah, it was, it was. Me too, good I don't want to spoil it because you should go definitely get the book and read it because it's, it's really good. But okay. yeah, man, you got you got y'all got to check that out. But like I stand when I see him punk, like I want him to be there. <laughs> like I just I literally read it like a couple minutes ago. Like I just looked, opened up my my tablet, and I was it. Oh, oh. Oh, when it happens, I'll, I'll be excited. Because <laughs> right. you guys, it's good bitch, yeah, bro, yeah. So. I know. Don't just, breath on that I know, but that's just a hey, man. It's a start, man. It's a start to that pipe dream. I know. Yeah, because well, the, the, the whole world's like, see a punk, please save us. And he's like, nah, nigga, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I'm like, y'all, got y'all got it. Y'all got it. Hey, hey John movie. Cena's right there. He was telling me, nah, he's doing movies. Yeah. No, yeah. see a oh, punk. He's doing told movies. you he was gonna do that, but y'all still wanted him anyway, huh? No. Bye. See you later. No, but Dwayne's not coming back. <laughs> <laughs> That feud with with the uh, with the Wayne and the CM Punk was really really good. I'm glad you say his name like that. I'm glad you didn't call him the fucking Rock. He He's Dwayne. Well, no, he we're not now. You're not gonna put no slander on, on on the Rock though. You mean Dwayne? You're not gonna put no, no. slander on the Rock. Well, he's when he was going there. You're Simon, not Dwayne. You're not gonna put Dwayne. any slander on the Rock. Dwayne. The Rock died no. years ago. The Rock came Scorpion back. Scorpion King. Okay, we can call him Rock then, but no. then now he's Dwayne. Oh, you wanna big that up? That old nasty, disgusting movie, yeah, Scorpion the King? the Rock, because he was the Rock then. No, he wasn't he the, was rock. the Rock. If he, he was, was he wasn't the Rock in that Dwayne. movie. He was definitely Dwayne in that movie. I, I, that old nasty. No, no, no Dwayne's a high no. state actor right now. I know. The Rock wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't, yeah. <laughs> uh, you, you know what? You're right. That was bad. The Rock wasn't a good actor, but Dwayne Johnson something else. Because <laughs> Scorpion King... Dude, that movie was so, you, so it was bad. It's better than that Tooth Fairy movie. Yeah. Dude, I heard Doom is bad, and even when he uh, said Doom was bad. Doom, Doom is bad, and dude. He said it was bad, dude. dude. Doom is really, really bad. Dude, no, Doom is the worst. It, it's worse than Scorpion King. Like it's really, yeah, really bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't watched. Because I don't know if you're like a fan of Doom. But I used to no. be. I used to be no. a bit of a fan of Doom back in the day. I saw the movie. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, you know, when it comes to video game movies, like there's such like a. Y'all know it's a stigma like that. It just don't, <sighs> good video game movies don't get made. Like it's impossible. I can name one. What's that? Final Fantasy Avid Children. Okay. Yeah. That, 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 that's one. And now I can give you another one, but it's not really even one. And that's Ready Player One. Like that's like the only one that kind of like what's, what's Ready that? Player One. I haven't seen that one. What? Holy shit. I'm fucking I up. watched it at your house. Where were you? Ah. At work, probably. Oh, probably so. Okay. Yeah, I do that yeah. a lot. <laughs> it's not like a video game movie per se. I know it's a side note from wrestling, but it's not a video game movie per se. It's yeah. like, it had like a bunch of video game characters in it. It's mm-hmm. like based in like a video game, and then yeah. like in the video game, like all the other video game characters are like in there, so you can like interact. Who's in it? Al Seven? No. Ugh. That's, no, what's that movie with him in it? A bunch of video game characters in it. I, I, I don't know, but I'm, I'm, I'm not. Oh, uh, Pixel, and I'm not. Pixel, I've yeah. seen it. I've seen it. Yeah. I'm just saying, Silent Why Hill video you? game movies were pretty good. Mortal Kombat was pretty good. Oh, excuse me, oh. Princess. Well, Frank. Mortal okay, Mortal Kombat was good. The first, actually, the first. The, some people didn't like the second one. I did. I liked the second one. It was good. <laughs> it's just good for yeah. what it is. Yeah. But I mean, like, it's, to me, as far as being like a like an actual. Like good, good movie. Like yeah, good. Like make some money in the box office, get yeah. good reviews. Well, people they'll probably rate Mortal Kombat low. I don't know why because it's actually like especially back in the time, it's a decent movie. Oh, yeah. I, I just recently watched well, not recently, maybe like three or four years ago. I watched both of them. Oh, I was at my sure. grandparents' house. I had nothing to do. Let's oh, toss that on, and it was like, oh, okay, this is that's what's oh, up. Okay. Shoot, but yeah, wrestlers become movie stars. Batista, I uh, he got like a movie by him being an Uber driver or some shit like oh, that. No, so he's like a uh, like a spy. That's he what gets that like is. he gets the dude as like a driver or something. Oh, okay, that. okay. It's that Indian and, dude on that uh, team, yeah. and you know, and through the shenanigans, the shenanigans are are coming. Oh, you know, God, you know. Okay, but it kind of looks like the same movie. Cause he has another movie with like a little girl and. He's like a spy. She like finds him, and then you know, I'm gonna teach you how to be tough. Oh then, yeah, I want to teach you. I want to yeah, teach yeah, you how to be yeah, soft yeah, and yeah, how to yeah. love. And then yeah, what's up with the wrestlers like doing these kid movies and shit like that? And but, like, well, because kid movies make tough guy. And yeah, then, like, oh, hope a mister. 
you're cool. And it's like, oh, I gotta be a softy. Well, that's what the WWE has marketed for the last mm-hmm. decade. Yeah. Jeremy's not happy. They market to the kids, man. Yeah. The kids, are, the kids are gonna make make you go see it. They're gonna drag your parents. The yeah, you're Miz, going. The, the Miz had that whole bit where he was marketing nothing but children. Yep. When was this? Hold them up. For real? Yeah. This is like, what, six, seven years ago? He had this that, is... that thing that would come on like Saturday or Sunday mornings. It was like oh, no exclusive to kids. Holy crap. Yeah, oh, is... I think I remember what you talking about now. Damn, this is a while back, though. Yeah, they did like a Saturday morning thing. Shit. Yeah, just... But you know what? Rest of the that's is, hell, when we was a little kids, hell, probably since yeah. the 80s, they had marketed like Saturday morning cartoons and yeah. shit. So you should all right. Damn. I'm glad how we landed back on wrestling. I'm dead. Yeah. I love that. Now, I love <laughs> segue right on back to wrestling. Yeah, man. Damn, I didn't remember about the movies, but I remember hearing that. Damn. Good point. Yeah. God, damn. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, that's how W. That's why WWE went PG. Cause they try to market to the kids. They, they, I, I mean, I get it, but uh, I don't think that. Uh, well, now that all the time has passed, I don't think they really had to do that. I think that, no. that, 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 well, that they didn't have. To. I think also, man, like now they trying to get back on their grind because AEW's up like on the hills within less than a year, and they didn't even did nothing yet. And and I mean, though they got three pay per views, they still ain't did shit yet. They yeah, the well, yeah. television won't come out till October. Yeah, that's when we're gonna be able to tell. Cause yeah. right now. And I think that's what it's, it is now. He got competition. Yeah. He got to step his game up in the yeah. motherfucking wrestling. Yeah. Like, congratulations, AEW. Hey, damn it. You're my employee. You shouldn't do that. And it's like, yeah, Vince. I don't wrestle. Con- independent so. contract is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, see, it says right here, you did it. It's not a union. So, yeah. Fire me, please. Oh, you're not. Suck a dick. And that's how some of these guys and gals are acting. But I heard they're going to work on <laughs> So they're going to have a hiring team pretty much right now, too. I just heard about this. To watch over like all their social media, so they can't even like congratulate the competition like New Japan, uh, AEW, ROW. Yeah, because it's so much competition now. Like yeah. I think AEW H-H-O, was like H-H-O, the whatever fuck. and yeah. I don't, I don't know H-H-O. why AEW has them so scared because New Japan is number two. Like it's number two. Like I don't, but it's not because it's not it, an American company. Yeah. Even though they got like, territories yeah. here, yeah, it's, it's number two. So yeah. why they haven't been so worried about that, and especially how popular it's become, well, I guess because maybe the most popular, one of the most popular things about it is made his own wrestling company. <laughs> so which you think it got popular years ago? Have you watched Brock Lesnar versus uh, Kurt Angle win the IWP GP no, Championship I'm, I'm back in two thousand and seven? Dude, it's a fucking great match. I looked it up when I heard about it. Yeah, dude, it's. Awesome, and you gotta remember those were WWE superstars at the time, and they allowed them to do that. So that shit was hot, and I'm surprised those guys didn't give New Japan clout. Kind of found out Jericho did it. Yeah, <laughs> you, know oh, I mean? you know the goat, baby. Jericho did it, man. So that was hot. And I was like, oh, okay, motherfucker, fighting Canadian, right? fighting another Canadian, also commentating another Canadian, uh, Donald Callis from ECW. Yeah. yeah, that guy. So look at us now. We are like, man, let's look at this shit. Holy crap. It's great. Speaking of wrestling, uh, I wanted to talk about... This is actually the reason why I kind of wanted to uh, do three episodes. Because, I remember... Okay, first of all... Oh, man. I'm scared. No, 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 no. You cool. So, like, I watch... I like wrestling. Like, I like all aspects of it. Yeah. I also respect the actual sport, like, Greco wrestling. She like that. Like, I like, I like watching the, the Summer Olympics and watch these fucking wrestlers do their thing. It's a beautiful thing. Um... It was to the point, even like like Kurt Angle was trying to save the sport because they were trying to take it from the Olympics. So I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, which I don't understand why they it's were like the doing oldest that. sport in yeah. the Olympics. Wow. It's wow. like old, almost older than prostitution. But anyway, so I've uh, I remember watching what was it? So CZW man, uh, combat combat zone wrestling. Dude, they're no very extreme hardcore wrestling. Yeah. You think ECW was something bad back in the day? No, that ain't shit. This, oh my god. Well, first off, like I said, I watch anything wrestling or called wrestling. So, prior to this, I watched this Russian <laughs> wrestling show. You gotta love the uh, YouTube algorithms, man. It's, it's, yeah. some, it's some wild shit. So, I watched this backyard Russian wrestling. I treated it like I treat Pornhub after a couple minutes, I'm done. Because I get like <laughs> five minutes of fucking, yeah, bleeding. I'm like, well, what else can you do? This dude's like, yeah. about to die. So, I get back to CZW. This is the reason why I came with this idea with this. Yeah. So, I, I wanted to talk about wrestling and like what the fuck it means to me. Yeah. And what like the actual sport. So I watched CZW. They had like this some some I forget like a four corner 
circle something something match. I forget what it's called. But I got to touch the four post. No, this is a there. garbage match, dude. Oh, oh. The ropes are made out of barbed wire, dude. Derek, it's not. It's not a competition, dude. It's not two men going in there and fucking fighting each other to see who's best, right? So what it is is two dudes. They're they're brawling. Very little wrestling moves, as you know, like Michinoku drivers and shit like that. Yeah. And the holds, very little holds. Um, of course, they throw a guy to the goddamn uh, to the bob wire. That's cool, but dude, Adam, if I get say a thing of nails, so these are thing of nails. Would you sit there and let me hold it to your arm and go ah, and press oh, it in? How much wow. you paying me? You, so you, but well, this is we're supposed well. to fight each other though. So well, you're gonna sit there and allow me to do this, even though we're. Competing against each other to see who's the best guy and kicking ass? Are you no. really like that's the illusion you're supposed to give me? Like give the crowd. Like that's my job. That's your job, right? Like two men. Like I don't like you. No, 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 right? This dude, I watched this shit. Dude sat there, boom, bow, impaled this guy with nails and shit, and vice versa. And it was like, why am I? Why are you standing there? You supposed to be fighting me and do your best to hurt me, right? That's that's why I believe. And oh. then. It got so bad, like the dude, one of the dudes got, you know, was bleeding so bad, they stopped the match temporarily. Yeah. Patched this motherfucker, they had a medical person right there on the side. Mm. Patched this motherfucker up, and they continued the match. I'm like, wouldn't the match end? You would think. Apparently not. Well, okay, so you would think. Exactly. You agree too. So I got turned off so quick, and it got, I got mad. I go, that's what Jim Cornette was talking about. Yep. Holy, and I, I'm trying not to be the old guy. Like, yeah, I'm making my day. Wrestling, I was wrestling. Not this garbage shit, you young punk skateboard motherfucker. So you said that happened in Russia? Like, no, well, Russia okay, or, well, that was back to wrestling. I, I was just oh. having to watch that. But then, like, oh, like, it was just some stuff that was just But like, CZW, yeah. Combat Zone Wrestling, actually, yeah. is a show YouTube it. And I seen this on YouTube. I'm like, taking a oh. shot watching this shit. I'm like, I want to watch some wrestling. I want to watch But I'm looking, I'm going. What the fuck? I turn it off and watch WCW immediately. Yeah, like that's yeah. <laughs> that's too much, dude. Like hardcore matches, I mean they're cool sometimes, but yeah. when it's like it's stuff like that, like that's yeah, like, like, that's too much. Like, and shit. Yeah. Like, like, Those are the guys that do that shit. Yeah. That's too much. <laughs> like, that's too much. Like <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Don't I'm not I'm not totally shitting on CZW. It's just the type of matches they have. Cause they found diamonds in the rough. Like Dean Ambrose, which his name was John Moxley then. Yeah. Uh uh Leo Rush. He actually yeah. came from C Z W when they had like wrestling matches. Believe it or not, uh, my girl, too bad she's married, Amber Moon <laughs> wrestled that a couple of times. Uh, oh, but actually had wrestling matches. Yeah, yeah. Amber Moon, dude, she had a pretty good matchup against what? I think it was her and Bailey versus. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah, SmackDown. Yeah. Versus yeah. the, not the Iconics, uh, Mandy Rose and something to me. Yeah. Fire Desire yeah. and some bullshit. Yeah. Mm, Amber Moon. Ah, shit. Sorry, y'all. Yeah. I ain't trying to. <laughs> I'm not trying to uh, <laughs> disco Inferno this shit. So. Yeah, so because I respect the sport, I, I respect any combat sport. Yeah, you know, boxing, MMA, wrestling, and you know, I, I do respect what what it is. Because I have a question, even you, Adam. Maybe you can answer this too, because you're, you're good at analyzing shit and observing stuff. Like a lot of stuff, like I hear Jim Cornette talk about it here. Like even Jim Ross talk about it, a lot. A lot of old heads. Do you believe? So let me ask you a question, and we'll talk more about it. Because I, I get kayfabe and shit like that. Do you think? Or do you believe, I should say, they need a heel and a face, good guy and bad guy? Do you really think in a, in a sport of wrestling or in the business of wrestling, do you think it has to have a heel and it has to have a wait, face? Wait, do you, wait, 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 you go, I'm gonna go. I had a really good answer for that. Go, go ahead. So, in a lot of sports, no. Like, if we're, you know, calling this the NFL, NBA, whatever. Nah, because it's just straight up pure competition and the games are kind of slated, so on and so forth. Yeah. But when it comes to, like, wrestling where it's either scripted or where, you know, it's almost a weekly thing. If you just have pure competition where it's twice a week and that's it, then nah, you're, you're going to lose viewership. Because the whole draw to most sports is there's like an off season and it's, you know, kind of exclusivity in the games. That's different than, let's say, baseball, where there's way too many games and nobody watches every single, you know, regular season. So, yeah, no, you do kind of need a heel and a face for wrestling like that. Word. If you're going to have it on that often, which you need to. Yeah. Wow. And, yeah. And you know what? I, I, I agree with took, that. Took my brother away with and that. A, and to add on to that, so when I look at wrestling, right, mm-hmm. I, 
do you need to have a hill in the face? It's almost a yes and a no question. Because right. when you go to watch wrestling, mm-hmm. when you're watching a match, what do you, when you look at somebody, like let's say it's people that you've never seen before. We've like, done it a yeah, lot. Yeah, you know like, we've done it a lot. We go to a show, we never see somebody before. What draws you to a person? Uh, charisma, wrestling, the actual wrestling, and like, like how does like the flow? Okay, yeah, the flow. So, charisma. I'm happy you brought that up. I, I so, know I kind of yeah, something flow with this. Yeah, one. so I, no, I'm trying to. Yeah, no, sure. yeah. So when you when people have charisma, it's certain things like, and it can be either way. Mm-hmm. Somebody can be like, you know, be a face and have great charisma right. and make you want to cheer for them. Right. But then that can be a heel that makes you want to just find trash to throw it in the ring at them because they make you so mad. That's, Keep talking. Yeah. So so so, so you need that. At least I think you need that. Right. Now, does... I think there could be matches where there's just two faces facing each other and it's just going to be a good match. And it's going to be a good That's match. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, it's going to be so a good match. Something I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's going to be a good match. But I think you have to have hills. You have to have faces. You have to give... You know, we know wrestling is scripted. You have to give right. me something to look forward to and to cheer for. Because when I go, well, at least for well, at least for me, I want to go see. I love competition. Like I love, same here. Like I love MMA. I've watched wrestling ever since I was a little kid. Right. But I also like movies. I like TV shows. Right. I like and to me, wrestling. That's what wrestling is to me. Okay. Is, is that? It's almost like. I'm sorry, wrestling fans. It's like Young and the Wrestlers, you know? Like, it's been on. It's, man, it's so been cool. on, like, so long. You know, it got some of the like same. Like, Guiding yeah. Lights been around since yeah. the 70s. It's been yeah. on for, like, so long. It got some of the same people that have when, you know, my mom and dad watched wrestling. You know, Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair, like, all of them. But now it's, like, all the newer people. But yeah. I want to watch them. I still want to watch Ric Flair because I like Ric Flair. I don't know about that other guy. <laughs> Yeah, but, you know, I like seeing Ric Flair. I like seeing Seth Rollins. He's entertaining to me. Daniel Bryan, yeah, you know, nice. entertaining. Chris Jericho, entertaining. Either way, if they're a heel or a face, I like them because they have charisma. Right. They got their athletic ability. They're just, they're, they're just, they're great. Okay, go ahead. And to kind of add on to that, too, like, so big difference is, like, between wrestling and other sports. Wrestling one of the draws to it is that kind of unpredictability, right? Yeah. Anything can happen on AI. If you don't have your heels, then you don't have any things like interference or, you know, dirty, exactly. dirty wrestling or anything like that. So it, it's definitely kind of a necessity, especially yeah. when you're going to have it on that often. Yeah. Now, I'm, Damn, yeah. I'm agreeing with that. Yeah. Oh, wait, like, you know what? And I'm not like disagreeing, I'm not debating none of what you said or what you said. Like, none of you gentlemen. Um, actually, Chad, you, you kind of like lay down with Really how I think about it. Because, like, yeah, I believe you should have exhibition matches. Because it's really showcase your talent. Because, like, yeah. WWE should use that formula. Because we, we we all grew up on the Attitude Era. You know, yeah. 90, I think, 97, 98. Yeah, 97 to 98 on. on when it really jump started. And they had a great mid-card. You know, of course, you had your main events like The Rock, Triple H, San Jose Austin, a couple other guys. Uh, and then your mid-card was cool. Like, you know, Godfather, fucking uh, Val Venus, all these motherfuckers. X Pac, dude, yep. him, X Pac, D Lo Brown, all those guys. Don't forget <laughs> Edge, Road Dog, Edge, Edge, Road Dog, excuse me, Christian, Mr. Ass. Those guys are all mid carters. They made the European Championship, the Intercontinental Championship, cause especially the Intercontinental Championship. That's like your mid card, like main boy championship. And, you know, you got like, you know, they don't do that no more, though. They don't use those guys like that no more. Like, they don't even use the Intercontinental Championship no more. But even like the European Championship, so it was like that was under the Intercontinental Championship. Not the States Championship. Those, those, yeah. yeah, yeah, and that was WCW at the time. But those guys fought for those belts, like, mm-hmm. dude, this is the World Heavyweight Championship. Even though you got like guys like Dwayne Johnson, I'm sorry, The Rock, Stone Cold, he's The Rock man. <laughs> All those guys doing it, but like, yo, I'm winning gold. I'm gonna look good, and I'm making it look good. They don't yeah. do that no more. No, so you had like either just regular competition, and then you had like you build probably build feuds after like say that belt, or like you said, you have your heel in your face, whatever. Like God by the way, like, hey, instead of fighting me, man, how about you take one of these hoes? That and that's the comedy aspect behind it. So you can do that, but it's like you could also have exp- expedition matches too. But like what I get tired of, which they did, fucking they both did both 
this Monday, this Tuesday was the first fucking. They showed it now. It used to be twenty five minutes. Bullshit, you not of Raw and be twenty five minutes of them. And then the main event, rap, 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 six man. Rap, 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 rap. Shut up, Stephanie. I don't want to hear you no more. You're not even arrested. Why are you here? Why do they keep doing six man tags? Like, I'm <laughs> exhausted of those guys. Like, I get you trying I, to showcase your wrestling. I Jesus remember Christ. back in the day when, like, a six man tag was like, oh man, they're going to put The Rock, Stone Cold, and Hulk Hogan in the match together. Like, they didn't happen. But, like, no, they actually put, did. They actually had uh, The Rock versus uh, NWO. The Rock and Stone Cold versus the NWO. For oh. free. Yeah. Oh, well, I just heard about that recently. It's funny that you said that. So it's like, you're going to put them in a match against somebody else. and like, man, that's great. But like, now, I feel like, kind of like you said, it's like, okay, we got three hours of TV. How are we going to put, you know, these hundred raw wrestlers on TV? And they could. And it's dumped. But now, this whole wild card thing, it, when I first oh, heard shit. it, when the very first time I heard it, I was like, oh, that sounds kind of cool. I regretted it. Oh, so when SmackDown came, I'm like, I just seen you on Raw. And it, I just seen years ago. Well, I'm sorry, I won't say that first week because yeah. that's when Seth and Kofi won the belt. So I kind of was, I was on At my Kofi, Mania, yeah. Kofi Seth high from winning. But then when that next week, I'm like, this is, this is same happening. thing. This is happening because like, what's oh, happening again? SmackDown was Raw's replay show, and they did it again. A decade it's later, like, they do yeah, the same like, fucking why thing. Why do you have to keep showing the same people when you have... And it's not like you got talent that's just bad. You got a whole bunch. You, you got an army. You have an army of like people that, if you give them a chance, let them go. So, prediction. This is very much kind of the same cyclical thing that we had, you know, a decade ago. Get ready for, after a little bit of, you know, this kind of replay aspect, mm -hmm. I guarantee you they're going to bop back into a draft. Because that's the last thing that Eric Bischoff, you know, the last time he was they here, just, that's what he did. Yeah, they, they just, just did, did it, right? though. They, they just did, like, did. They just three, four months ago. Yeah, but it wasn't really... They did really, a wild card thing but, because they were just but it was, dude. But it was... Yeah, but that's him trying to... But the draft, them, was, right? the draft yeah. was nothing because you negated with the wild card. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. you don't know who's a wild card. It's not even like, okay, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Kofi King, or well, the New Day. Yeah. Uh... Drew McIntyre and Braun Strowman. Those are the only wild cards. That's it. And it's the same it's guy no. Guys, it's He's whoever just... I need to throw on TV one. So Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon the wild card. No, they call it the Omni Shade or the yeah. or Russell Talk. Yeah. The Omni Shade because dude, he was on both shows for literally like two three months. Yeah, and he's still taking over SmackDown. And they was like, no more. Remember back in like I think December or January, they was like, oh, no more authority figures. What the fuck Shane doing? Yeah. <laughs> like, what, what, what was that called? What was that? But what I think, he? you know what? I also think they need that. Shane? Yeah. No. That shit with Shane, have you been watching? Finished. Shane, I feel what? like Shane, like, forgets where he at sometimes. Like, dude. he be forgetting his lines. He be like, he just... I don't like, even care about that, dude. I'm he just like, be like... I like Apollo Crews, dude. Yeah. I like Apollo Crews. Oh, do you see SmackDown when they were talking? They had the whole line. Yeah, yeah, little hall, the town hall meeting bullshit. Yeah. I do. Why? Because he's this is man wet, wet dream of black. That's that's probably what's holding him back. I yeah, I use that card. I'm sorry, I had to go there. Cause it's like, dude, he has the physique, he has the athleticism. But he on TV. He's but, Vince McMahon's wet yeah, dream, but, dude. But the only thing, the only, the only thing about Apollo Crews that I've noticed that he, it is, he's just not yeah, a regular talker. Talk. But that's he it, though. That's, that's it. That's it. That's Chris it, that's Benoit it. wasn't either. He got the belt. Come on now. You know how long that lasts. Shut up, man. Come on. <laughs> you know how long that lasts. And that dude was a great wrestler. You yeah. know it. Oh, he is a great wrestler. You know, we had that debate already. Oh, man. Yeah, we did. Yeah. We didn't do it on yeah. the podcast. Yeah. We'll do that later. Yeah. But, man, that dude was a great wrestler. Yeah. Yeah. You said he's a boring champion. And I, yeah. thought, and I actually yeah. didn't even watch. Yeah. I just thought about it. I go, fuck, he's right. Hey, he, I told you, it was so boring watching he's, him be champion. Oh, he when he was a champion, when he was just fighting. Hey. Whoop your ass. Yeah. It's like, man. I'll later. Yep. But. Champion. Back to our heels and face thing from earlier, right? Juan, yeah, really. yeah, yeah. But Juan yeah. was more like a. He was yeah. both actually. He was he he, he, he did but he didn't did play jobs. either one up a whole lot. No, he yeah. did not. And so yeah, and here that's why Adam's here. <laughs> that's why Adam's here. That's because uh, he's boring. He wasn't able to do. Both. 
Yeah. That's why I think that's why uh, when he did win the belt, that's why they had like Triple H and uh, Shawn Michaels. It was a triple threat. Because I think it was probably yeah. just Triple H and Ben Wagner. Yeah. Like, hey, Shawn, add some pepper to this shit. So that's that's what's going on. Well, that's what went on with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, okay, okay. Because, like, no, nah, because that's what I'm saying. It's like, that's five hours of wrestling when it comes to actually more than that. But, like, the main, like, that's what's on TV now. In the WWE aspect of things, it's like, all right, you got literally five hours in a two day span of wrestling. But either A, I see a total of 10 matches. On top of that, I see just a bunch of talking. And not just that, I see the same freaking wrestlers. You got great lady now. They're like women's evolution. Remember that shit last year? That great PR pay per view they had. The the evolution pay per view. The match is shortened again. Well, until this Tuesday because Liv Morgan, Morgan fought uh, Charlotte. That was a shorter match too. It was it was longer than no. It was shorter matches, believe it or not, than that. Like they they went back to down to like oh piss back match. Let's go. That's how they did it. And yeah, but I don't know why because they got, got like very great, beautiful and talented. Lady wrestlers, yeah, they're, they're all super great, man. Like, yeah. even the ones that aren't like just like that great are kind of good, really good. Yeah, <laughs> like, kinda good. That's what that's what trips me out so much about this, and that's why I really don't like the wild card thing anymore. Yeah. After the second weeks, so I look at the roster, and I'm just like, you have all this, yeah. just all this talent. This like talent, just yeah. I remember back in the day, not that. Like to me, the wrestlers now, like their ability is better. Sick. Is the ability Sick. of the wrestlers now is better than it was back in the day? Right. So I felt like maybe sometimes you had to keep showing the same people over again because okay, if I put this person in the ring, they're not going to be as good. That like I keep putting them in the ring, they're not that good. I they're they're not that season. Yeah. But now I look at the roster. Next time we have a wrestling podcast, I'm going to pull up the rosters for both Raw and SmackDown. Okay. And we're going to go through them. We can. And it's going to be like... We know it next week. Fuck it. <laughs> so I'm like, how? How? How How? How, am I, how do I keep seeing I, Shane McMahon... And that's why week. Kevin Owens did that shit. Shane? Even though it's scripted, they saying what exactly what you just said. Yep. Exactly what everybody I'm else like, said. I'm like, huh, Kevin exactly Owens really I've been thinking like, why am I looking at the, the nepotism is a motherfucker. Let's just say that. Nepotism is a real thing and it's a motherfucker. And it's like, you got... Girls like Amber Moon, you know I'm a fan of her. And because she's hot, it's because she actually can whoop that ass. I watch Athena. I watch her do a thing on, like, you know, in the Indies. And she can fuck people up. Uh, you know, you got, like I said, well, I mean, Leo Rush fucked himself. But that's still, you don't see a lot of him. Well, now you really don't. But, like, yeah, you, you yeah. know, you got all these great talents. And that's all, like, I just don't have, like, you know, uh, you know, about maybe two, maybe three. Maybe. I know I'm pushing the envelope a little bit on an expedition. And then, like you said, Adam, you know, yeah, add that pep, that 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 ingredient, of, you know, uh, charismatic individuals or who are heels and who are faces. I'm with that, but then when you just talking for like 18 years, and I literally seen three wrestling matches in fucking three hours, I have a huge issue. And within with three hours, you got 45 minutes of fucking commercials. What is the point of me watching? And that? oh, don't forget the commercials within the match, dude. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, shit! I fucking Dude, you don't watch wrestling right now like that. Adam, what they would do. And then what pisses me off the most. What? They had commercials back in the matches. In the but no, 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 no. What they do is like, okay, they would advertise their show within their show. Does that make sense <laughs> to you? I'm already watching yeah. the product. How you advertise the product to me? Why well, watch like, your product? I'm already bought in. I'm, I'm watching I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm here. That's what I'm done for. Chad myself is talking about. So I remember, and I thought it was so disrespectful. Respectful during this is like WrestleMania week or the last uh, the last few weeks before prior to mm-hmm. WrestleMania. So this is what they did, and I was mad. I was mad for Charlotte Flair. This is the daughter of Ric Flair, and even Rick was like, "Yo, she's more talented, like more athletic than me." So when that, when Pop was like, "Yo, my baby got it because my baby got it," and because oh my baby got it because of me, that's saying something. So I digress. I remember she had an entrance right coming in. You know, they playing the music. She got the robes and all this stuff. They minimized that screen, and they put down like the match with Seth Rollins gets freaking Brock Lesnar. I'm going. Why am I watching this? I'm watching the product. Yeah. I'm going to buy the pay per view. We're good. Not yeah. you know, fucking Reese's Puffs or some shit like that. No, it's within the show. You're showing me a commercial 
within the it's show. It's like Inception, dude. It's like a dream within a dream within another dream. I didn't like, understand I don't even see that, I, Like, why? That, that's, that's not called for. Like, <laughs> I understand you want to... I understand you want to... I, I get it. Hey, you got to market. Man, you got to market to your people. I understand that, but like... Bro. I am literally... Watching this shit. I'm here. Watching it, and I... And when I'm at home watching it, I want to see the match. Like, I want to see it. I... I love Charlotte Flair. Yes. I want to see Charlotte Flair fight. I don't want to have to. Oh man, I like Seth Rollins and Brock Lesnar too, but they're not the ones on TV right and now. And guess what? Those are Raw superstars. I'm looking at a SmackDown superstar. Why am I looking at them right now? We seen this yesterday. Let's get. To I know good and well when Raw come on, I'm not gonna see anybody from SmackDown. Guarantee. Yeah, not gonna see a single person. So I get what you're saying. I, yeah, they gotta make their money. You know, for uh, commercials. I get that. Y'all pay bills. But it's like, when it's just your product, now you just be a dick. <laughs> you well, know? That, sounds, that sounds a little bit like desperation type marketing. If their ratings, and their ratings have been going now, up a now, long yeah. time. Yeah, well, right. now, like, like, it's hard now. But yeah, I mean, right. if, if, going, if going in up. specific, their pay-per-views have been going down, even if it's, you know, a match that's kind of decent, they're yeah. trying to force it. Like, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, if yeah. you haven't bought it, look, look, we, we have this look. thing that you would like. Look, see, see, Ooh, watch, watch, shiny, Ooh, shiny. See the watch, see the watch. Yeah, I'm on the watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Bling bling. People like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Somebody said it. It's yeah. always one. So you're right. Maybe it did work. Oh, it's like, it's always man right. or woman, you right. You are yeah, right, man. But yeah, oh my goodness, man. I am like, so I'm happy that they're. Dry. And I kind of heard that they're trying like to improve, but like some of that, like the Eric Bishop shit and uh, whatever, they they doing it to appease the the stock, the you know, people, the investors. And I was like, all right, but no, you change the product, yeah, which they are, they are, they yeah. are changing the product slightly. They are. Yeah, that's part of why they're going back to this whole uh, PG fourteen thing. Like yeah, they gotta, yeah, they you gotta get back to. there so you can, because you can still, you're not gonna alienate your base as far as you know. But your your PG base, you're not gonna alienate them. They're right. gonna, I mean, kids have YouTube, and I'm sure they watch way worse things than, than yeah, Roman like, Reigns saying a, a, a bad word, the like word bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they watch. I think some, Momo got that covered. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember that really? shit when that was a thing earlier this year. Yeah. So I think they'll be. I think they'll be okay there. It's just right. they gotta do something, man, because you know WWE is still like flagship for wrestling. Like that's. When you think wrestling, that's what you think of. Powerhouse. Yeah, that is what you think of. But I mean, it's just, I think now the fact that we have more options in the internet, hey man, you can't fail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't fail because every single person, they they can't wait. They got, they got a keyboard in hand. They got a, they got a way to say something if they're not liking what they're saying. Yeah, and the thing is, I hope, but I know we're kind of like just riding on WWE, but like I said, like like you just said, it's like, dude, they're the granddaddies right now of, of wrestling. And, uh, you know, with the internet, man, like, ah, uh, it's you got so many choices to watch other stuff. Yeah, that's, yeah. And that's yeah. why I'm having the AEW. Like, and it's so funny because you, know, you got, like, you know, ROH, you got. Impact, you got New Japan, you got all this other stuff. So, really, you don't have to stick with that. But, like, something about WWE is like, mm, what is up with you guys? But to hear that is enough. Yeah, and yeah. It's most likely that's what exactly yeah. what that is. Probably like 99.9% is exactly what is the reason yeah. why. Oh, you know, Monday, speaking of nostalgia. Oh, my God, they're really digging, ain't they? Stone Cold comes oh, out. Stone Cold, Shawn Michaels, Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man. Uh, I think I'm just seeing, I said Candace Michelle's like, why? Mm-hmm. We don't care. I hope that's a lie. Dude, uh, who else? Did I say Shawn Michaels? I think I did. Yeah, Shawn Michaels. Yeah. So, dude, I can't name them all. I can't name them all. It's a list. I'm not going to sit there and waste my time looking for it. Yeah. It's just too many. It's like, what are we doing right now? I heard Stone Cold Steve Austin actually having have a TV show, too. So, that's probably, I heard oh, that's yeah. part, part of the reason why, too. But it's so many. Well, there's a DX, Mike. Yeah, but Triple H ought to work there. So, Hulk so the Hogan's show. coming back? You, your boy Hulk Hogan's coming back. <laughs> Which don't do bro. nigger. I mean, brother, brother. Oh, oh, be oh. dead ass for a second, brother. Oh, bro, guess who else is coming back? Kurt Angle, Jillian Hall. Hey, ah. on the face. yeah, and the boogeyman Maybe ate it off. Ate it off. Yeah, yeah, because it's, <laughs> I, I needed you to come back. That's what I was looking yeah, for. Yeah, that's what I wanted for Christmas, guys. Let's see. Oh, we got uh, Santino Morella. 
Okay. Booker T, Sergeant Slaughter, yeah, okay. Stone Cold, The okay. Godfather. Okay, I like The Godfather. Andrea cool. Blaze, Mark Henry. Okay, she's, all right. he's cool. Oh, uh, Eve Torres is coming back. Carry on. <laughs> you, you, what? What's that? No? Oh, okay. wait, matter of fact, I found her in Afghanistan. She all right. See? So, you know what? Okay, I'm cool with you. Yeah, she yeah, cool. yeah. She was a real sweet woman. Kelly Kelly, though. She, she. Mm-hmm. Want to hear a story about Kelly Kelly, dude? So, hold up, hold up. <laughs> So I swear to God, and I'm being a guy, a nice guy about it. So, so in, earmuffs, kids. No, 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 no. It's not gonna be that bad. It's like it's it's mild. It's real mild. It's not like Diablo. <laughs> <laughs> this is mild. So back in 2010, December 3rd, 2010. You know, I was I was out there in Afghanistan as a soldier. They came to visit us. So it was Vince McMahon, Big Show, uh, Eve Torres, and Kelly Kelly, and. You know, they're doing autographs and photo ops. So it was pretty, you know, pretty nice of them. Free 99, I ain't got to pay for it. I actually met Vince McMahon. Okay. And I met Vince McMahon. And so, <laughs> I remember seeing Kelly Kelly out there, man. And, dude, she got the prettiest white smile. I mean, pretty white. I'm talking about news anchor white. Huh? Nice teeth. Because, like, I know this news anchor's got, like, nice teeth. Actors, I don't know what the fuck they're doing with their lives. Hey, you can step your teeth game up. But anyway, uh... Oh, I yelled out, you got a pretty smile, Kelly Kelly. And she goes, tell me how you really feel. And I'm like, nah, nah, I've been in this desert too, no, too long. You, you, you don't want to hear that. Nah. And I said, just like that. Nah, hell no. Nah. I'm a dirty-minded individual right now. You don't want that. And I thought that was the funniest thing, man. But they were so cool, man. Seeing Big Show uh, freaking uh, stand in the, uh, what is that, the turret of the truck. Like, you cannot be a soldier in this truck. Name tape definitely, which means, like, you gotta be, like, you can't be no higher than your name tape over the uh, little protection part of the turret mm-hmm. or you catch a bullet to your head, period. You're dead. So I was like, I just see Big Show get out. I was like, how did he even get in that small truck? Because that motherfucker's small, and I'm five foot eight with short legs. So that's funny on its own. And, like, this guy's forever tall, so how did he get his big ass in there? To even like put his body in the middle of this truck to get in the dive on the turret. So that was kind of cool. Uh, also, I remember, um, oh, so I talked to Vince. Believe it or not, I actually, talked to, actually I had a chance to talk to Vincent Kennedy McMahon. So if anybody's listening to this goddamn podcast and wants to be a freaking wrestler and get your dream, your lifelong dream is to become a WWE superstar, even though they're kind of making it easier now, or you got to go to the developmental with their NXT stuff and tryouts and this, that, and third. Here's a shortcut. <laughs> Here's a shortcut. And I learned this in 2010, December 3rd, 2010. I said, I know there's wrestling schools out there. I know there's stuff out there. How do a person, an individual, get into your company? And Vincent Kennedy McMahon told me, Jeremy Brown, he said, you have to know somebody in the business, meaning who worked there. So I was like, oh, shit, I know Booker T. I met him. He lives here in Houston. He, he, he He's always there. Cool. I can go to wrestling school now. He has one. But, like, yeah, say, like, you know, Booker T, Rikishi. I heard Rikishi got a school. Um, just other wrestlers, Shawn Michaels. I mean, you just know somebody within the business that works in WWE that can recommend you. That's kind of your shortcut or your backdoor in to the business or to at least WWE. But like, like I said, nowadays you got the developmental and shit like that. You gotta, you know, work your way up. Nowadays, because Vince buying, you know, collecting these guys like Pokemon anyway, so <laughs> it might be easier. <laughs> So, yeah, that's, that's that. the Kelly Kelly Woods main story, but, you know, since I thought Drag is a little longer, because Chad Lee. <laughs> give this, me, you know what's funny? I'm giving you shit, bro. You mentioned, speaking of Vince collecting people like Pokemon cards, dude, like, he, like, gets people and then, like, all right, I got you. Ah. Uh, yeah. Bye. You know, look at like JR. Look at King. You can't wrestle. It's like, bye. Oh, see you later. King is going to be there Monday. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, let me finish. Oh, I didn't finish telling you. The whole NWO. Oh, so, yeah. So, my first question is, why they got this picture of Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, and all them on there? This old, old picture. Oh, it's an old picture? Look at this picture. What you got for me? Oh, Jake, look at this with me, bro. Dude, they got the old picture of Stone Cold. Wait, why is uh, Alicia Fox here? That. 
That is my question. Why is she on there? <laughs> Why is she on the Marion Thomas Alicia Fox, bro? Oh yeah, yeah uh, these these are recent at all. Look at X Fox. Look at um. Yo, like, yeah, his hair is gay. Devon. Yeah, he has no hair. Devon got the goggle glasses. Yeah, the mince meat hit forehead now. Uh, yeah, they they Medusa. going straight. They going straight nostalgia with that. That's except all these that these two pictures. That's that's new. Well, Triple H. Yeah, looks that's like like, like modern day, right? But everybody, everybody else, else on yeah. There. Gerald Briscoe wish he looked like that. Yeah, that world was nothing <laughs> like that anymore. Not a, he ain't not even close. Yeah, he's probably 112 years old. Yeah, right he, the fuck yeah, out. Yeah, he's been here for a little bit. Hell yeah. He wrestling royalty too. The Briscoe yeah. brothers, get the fuck out of here. What the hell, Speaking Boogie Speaking of old man. school nostalgia, man, Taz is like a hardcore sports commentator now. Really? Mm-hmm. He commentated on NBA, NFL, everything That's a Mick Foley, that's a recent picture too. Looking like Santa Claus and shit. No, you know what? He don't have a hair no more. He got a haircut now. But that's like recent within the last year and a half to two years. Yeah, you bitch off. He kind of like that. Who the fuck did this? <laughs> I'm like looking at this at this Instagram photo. And then, uh, they got X Pac with all of his hair. Yeah, dude, he has like a fade now or some shit. His hair is mad short. Ted DiBiase, I bet he don't even look like that no more. Get the fuck out of here. Godfather don't even have them braids no more. Yeah, not, not, <laughs> not at all, bro. Not at all. <laughs> I met him a couple years back. I got a picture with him right now, man. Him and Farouk are some cool motherfuckers. Kevin Nash. Dude, when did Kevin Nash have been black? When was the last time his hair was that black? And his raven colored black. Get the fuck out of here. Not that Kevin Nash. I'm talking about Scott Hall. I'm talking about Scott Hall. Kevin Nash oh, is the other yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. When his hair was blonde? I don't know. <laughs> When was the last time he's ever been? Back in the big sexy days. Yeah, 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 Diesel. Huh. Big sexy. When he toys quiet. <laughs> Fuck, how you toy your quiet like that? There's all them old guys here in their quads know. and shit, dude. Oh, no. oh my God, man. Adam, do you have anything else, man, to add about wrestling or, or your input about it? Because you, you actually got some great content for this shit, because I was like, damn, he asked my question and fucking destroyed it. <laughs> and, 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 and it's not a ne- it's not a negative. And I was going, damn, he put a great perspective on it. And I can't. That's why I, I couldn't even debate or say nothing. Nah, I appreciate like, the praise, man. Nah, it's yeah. just a little bit of outside looking in, especially since I'm like I'm, I'm not hardcore where I mean watch this stuff like you guys all the time, right? Yeah. But the little bit that I have seen here and there over the last few years, I've been not impressed at all. I'm much more into, you know, UFC or, you know, yeah. just any type of MMA in general. Even even though boxing, for the most part, went through a kind of trash era, it, it still had a lot more, you know, kind of appeal and entertainment. But I am kind of excited to have Eric Bischoff and, and Paul Heyman back at the reins. I, I think that that is something, at least a positive step in the right direction. Yeah. So I think a long time ago, like we we had this whole you know period back in back when we were growing up, right? Mm-hmm. Like the early two thousands, where everybody and anybody was freaking out about you know kids seeing too much content and everything. Grab that thought, oh, I'll sue them. La da 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 da. And yeah. I think that all those scopes kind of got focused on a lot on a WWE or WWF back in the day, whatever it was. Yeah. And because of that. They kind of tamed it down, and I think that that back in the day was a really good move, especially with how you know kind of our life climates evolved, where everybody's offended over everything. Oh, but God. it's it's about time that it kind of climbs out of the shadows, and they should have probably made this type of move what three, four years ago, because it, it's it's been in decline for a long time, and especially at, at, I hate a lot of things about today's climate. That's a, another story for. Another day, a week, right? <laughs> shoot, if but, not a um, year. Shoot, oh, yeah, if not a year. But I will say it, it's a lot more polarized to be accepting of, you know, a lot more kind of extremist views like that. And it, it's something that, as a business, I would jump in and take advantage of. I, I would play a ton of stuff if, you know, it, it, it making money and, you know, having a, a more watched product out there. Yeah. They, they got a lot of content, and the crazy part is they got mad content, but it's like it's the same old, same old. And like today's wrestlers, like remember me and you talked about it last, uh, I think Sunday, last Sunday, like the life expectancy, well, career wise, of oh, yeah. of a modern day quote unquote wrestler or sports entertainer, depending on what they call themselves. <clears throat> um, 
Yeah, you know, been watching the boys on the AEW kill their knees. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. See, uh, oh, yeah, he didn't see the Shima match, man. He did so many, they call it meet, he called it Meteora. Like, yo, uh, he like jump off the top rope. You seen that that one match on the the fire the fighter fighter fest when he did that finish move to the Japanese guy mm-hmm. like did, yeah he did it everywhere on this next show oh no he did it so many times the first time cause even I was like when I first time I go oh my god his knee if he keep doing that his knee's gonna be shot and like like matter of fact I'm gonna give you your numbers like three three to four years if he keep doing that day in and day out yeah you him. feel your meniscus like that, man. Dude, look like hammer. Cart- cartilage is <laughs> what? What's cartilage? Yeah, that's what your knees gonna say. What, what is cartilage? But uh, some of these guys need to slow it down, you know. And so I, I get why guys like Jim Cornette, mainly just him. He, he fights for like good old fashioned wrestling. Like the old, like like he is like that. At times I hear him talking, he's like, "Damn, you are that old guy." And it's like yelling at the sun because it's out. But what I like about this guy, he he explains why like. This why it's messed up. Sometimes you gotta slow down. Not just do every move, every what's the word, every spot. Just do spots, and then like why carry on matches. This is psychology of it all. That's why I dig. I, I follow that guy, but also, like you said, uh, the product man. Like all the products, like you just gotta like know how to hone it. Cause they, like right now, you said it yourself. Like uh, I think you or uh, Chad said it that the pro- WWE is panicking. It's like oh, we gotta do something. Like, they'll throw a story out and then, like, oh, the ratings didn't go up this week. Trash it and then do something else. And I was like, wait, no. Let it marinate, dude. Yeah, you got to give something Take a cook. chance. You can't just be yeah. like, oh, this didn't work. Get rid of it. It's like, yeah. but I just saw you do that last week, but now you're doing this. Yeah. So, like, you got to stick to something. You got to do something. Yeah. Yeah, and kind of like big picture perspective, too, because we, we've been talking about, you know, kind of them as a company and everything else. Yeah. This is a very, very good time, I think, to have, you know, some type of renaissance or resurgence. Because in, in the holistic view of, like, all the, the sports and entertainments and everything else that, that goes on and happens, there's this, you know, horrible for sports fans, but there's this kind of dead time that exists from late June to maybe, like, early to mid-August, probably say mid-August, yeah. where the NBA is off season where baseball doesn't really freaking matter, especially since they mixed the second trade line, where the NFL is just starting their training camps, and so there's not really a lot of news coming out from them, okay. right? If you were going to do something, if you were going to you know, kind of put a stamp on a portion, a time span of the year, this is, would definitely be the time. Because yeah. you, you, can't, you can't wait, especially if you know, you're know you WWE, they, they make Buku's money, but it's nothing compared to the three major sports, right? You right. can't wait until you get to, you know, October, September even, where NFL is king or where baseball is ramping up to get in the playoffs. You can't do this stuff, you know, earlier where it's like February or so because, nah, you got basketball and basketball is already in playoffs and some you know, Super Bowl coming up. That. And then there's free agency right afterwards, which yeah. this year was insane. So they, they're definitely burning daylight. If they're going to do something to put themselves on the map and set themselves for, up for the next year, this is their last shot. It yeah. better be something really damn good. Well, so otherwise, they lose a ton of viewers. And then speaking, you mentioned of that their, one of their big pay-per-view events that's coming up is SummerSlam. Yeah, is that the, mm-hmm. where, the end of August? August. Yeah. No, yes. no, this one, ain't it? Yeah, it's yeah, and it's yeah. not August, July. Yeah, yeah. yeah, July. So, this is one of their big chances that they have to to make a change to get people. Well, SummerSlam, I mean, there are four big main pay per views SummerSlam, um, Survivor Series, WrestleMania, uh, Royal Rumble, King WrestleMania. Of like, nah, that don't, don't even don't, exist. Yeah, right yeah, yeah, King of the Ring, yeah, yeah, King of the Ring out of this. Yeah. Like, those, Which they should use. those are four yeah. big draws for WWE. And when they have them, they're. They've been pretty good for the past couple of years. Each of the four main pay per views I named. Yeah. 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 They've been pretty good. But now with, you know, AEW, New Japan, everybody else, like, they just have to just. You can't just keep giving me the same thing every time. You have to. You got to do something. You got to change something. You got to shake something up. You got to do something. And hopefully yeah. with Heyman and Bischoff. Yeah. Slowly being moved into everything to when they're sure they're gonna just like not completely take over. We know Vince not having that, yeah. but they they gotta do. Yeah, 
when I saw that, that gave me a big glimmer of hope. It was like, okay, there is potential for change. I like that. Yeah. I like that. That's a, like the fact that you brought them in means that you realize that something is wrong because you, I mean, hey, has been there, but you're letting this man be in charge. Yeah. Again. Sure. Yeah. And Bischoff, you're bringing him back, which I still can't, like, I can't believe it. Can't fathom. Yeah, it's hard to fathom. But, so, you, know, you know, the man, they're both, like, wrestling geniuses, man, and they're both fans of the sport. Like, they're they're not just an exec. I know Heyman is for sure. Yeah, they're just not an exec. They're little fans of what is on TV. And I think with them and then with Triple H being there, too, another literal fan. I've heard, speaking of that guy, the reason why they, because somebody asked that question. I forget what I heard from so sorry I can't say my sources on this because it's been like months ago because somebody was like why you need Paul Levitt they actually uses the actual government name Paul Levitt why you don't get Triple H on there well say if this falls apart with those guys of what they're trying to do what they're going to do is uh, they won't put the blame on him so he's still safe yeah. which makes sense yeah scapegoat you know nice uh scapegoat uh, nice little scapegoat. You have to worry about it, and he can still work on NXT because that's that's what he's doing. That's his baby, so it makes sense. And I was like, all right, well, I'm I'm still a Paul Heyman guy anyway, so I, I doubt that he's gonna feel it. Hardcore, let's say it like that. Uh, Bischoff, uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll figure that out. Yeah. As, as as the as the as the ship is sailing, and you know, Triple H's gonna still run his baby. Because it's doing great. He's producing great superstars. Or the superstars are already great, but they're trying to, you know, put it to the standards of the yeah. WWE. So that's all they're doing. And they're producing great shows. I'll well, show you that for stuff. I think NXT is products. super good. It's super good. It's better than that main shit. And that's the sad part. Because yeah. even Triple H, they say like Triple H, like guys like Revival or whatever, like the guys that's in the main ro- roster, they made NXT look great. You know, put the shit on the map, done great matches and all this, like five star matches. They mess with like yo five side of that shit. Uh, there are pictures of him like kind of so like hugging like, yo man, hey, it's gonna be all right because he looked bad. Like Vince and all those guys, those, those people that's writing stories, they make him look bad. I'm like dude, why am I here? Why am I? I mean, yeah, I'm making lots of money, great, but these are men and women who actually enjoy the product. And I know we've been real heavy on the WWE till, but you know, hey, that's all. We, hey, we, we grew up on the shit. Uh, maybe next time on the next podcast, uh, we talk more about other stuff. But like you know, I'm, you know, I'm trying to break some next stuff out because you yeah. know, kind of, kind of over. I was trying to keep it within an hour. Yeah, we're good. For this we're first good. episode. Well, yeah, we'll go ahead and wrap it up here on this. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So a little precursor for next episode. What are we doing, bro? We're gonna uh, hit up. Uh, we're doing video games and anime, or you want to do music? Let's do music. Music. Oh, oh yeah. This man, he got, he got some. Like y'all, y'all the guys to talk to about music right now. So okay. So we'll, we'll do that next. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, next uh, after this. To us, it's going to be probably five minutes, maybe ten minutes. So, y'all yeah, probably be a day or two. I don't know. Have a chat. Going to edit it. And how we going to edit it. We'll figure that shit out. Uh, until time, until then, in between time and all that good shit, uh, main man, Adam Powell, thank you. I appreciate you being here. Yeah, man. I appreciate, appreciate you stopping on through. Yeah. Uh, matter of fact, you're going to be here for the next one. <laughs> <laughs> we're just ending the tone. No. We're just we're just ending this episode, but he's gonna be on the next one. Cause like, yeah, he actually uh, was spitting some good knowledge a second ago. I mean, earlier today, I'm saying a second ago, but earlier today. So I gotta hear his input. Definitely gotta hear your input, Chad. Cause like, I know you're a big time music connoisseur. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I, think, I think I'm gonna have like a debate with you about something. We're gonna talk and uh, gonna end this. Cause yeah, I'm like this. Da, 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 da. So, hey, thank y'all for listening, whoever's listening in the worldwide web, in this world. Thank you. Fuck you. Bye. Now I'm joking. No. Sorry, Jim Quinnett. Hey, uh, hey when Jim, Jim Quinnett come on, gonna get you. I'm not helping you at that's all. That's cool. He don't hire CBP New get my ass. Hey, you on your own. sue you, boy. Like, I ain't making money, so what you got? No, nah, I'm joking. Holla, 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 holla. Right? Holla, 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 holla. Love, peace, and hair grease. All right. Fusion High. Out. Out.